Am I? What's the secret? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll tell you guys about it. All right, girl. I'll Take see you later. Care. Hello. I think oh, it's okay. Yo, what's up, girlfriend? Sit down, sit down. You got me worried, see? Don't worry, girlfriend. Let's just go somewhere with we'll talk. Where? Off campus, somewhere in town. Town? Mm hmm. Town. <laughs> Cassie, what's wrong with you? I mean, you look so good. <laughs> Cassie, let's just go. go. Okay. my legs. I mean, what's, what's been happening? Seriously, you just don't. Uh, nothing has been happening. Don't worry, darling. We'll talk about it when the time comes. Have you been robbing a bank or something? I'm robbing a bank? <laughs> Do you really think I'm capable of doing that? No one beats me because I know that you're nuts. Don't worry. Life is not all about tears all the time. We'll talk. Get it. The doctor you took me to is a quack. <sighs> Come on, Cassie. Dr. Ken is no quack. But I just told you that I nearly lost my life. You think I'm joking? Christ, what would I have told my parents? Okay, that I died trying to commit a dirty act of abortion, right? Please, Cassie, just quit talking this way, okay? Just quit it. You don't seem to get it. Look, but for Kinsley, that is exactly what would have happened to me. I would have been gone. Kinsley. Never mind, we'll talk about that later. No, but seriously, I, I really want to know. This um, Dr. Ken or whatever you call him, is that guy truly a medical yes. doctor? Cassie, what, what is wrong with you? Dr. Ken had successfully carried out three abortions on me and I had no problem whatsoever. But what did you just say? You heard me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lydia, wait. Did you just tell me that you've had three abortions? You've Obviously, had... that's what it means, isn't it? Christ, how on earth could you be so careless? I mean, whatever happened to condoms? Stop acting naive, okay? Just stop it. How many of these days we want to use a condom on you? Uh-uh, no, not me, all right? <laughs> Look, you are really scaring me, girl. Girlfriend. Not as much as you scare me right now with all this luxury. <laughs> God, I can't believe Anyways, um, you said something about a Kingsley. Who is he? Mm -hmm.
here we are. Where is this place? It is where I live for now. Where you live? How? Remember the guy I talked to you about, Kingsley? He owns this place. Come on, tell me something. It's been barely three weeks you moved in here with God knows whoever this Kingsley is. And you drive that beautiful car outside. And, and, and Lydia, relax, okay? Sit down. Now, so, um, who is this Kingsley? Kingsley. Okay, I'll tell you. Kingsley is a good Samaritan, going by the exact word he used when I first set my eyes on him. So, how did you meet him and who is he to you? I met Kingsley on my way back from your Dr. Kern's hospital in the middle of the road where I fainted. Oh my, you don't say. Kingsley took me up, took me to his own private hospital. I regained consciousness after 48 hours and after five hours, I was discharged. And then he brought me right here. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, about what he is to me, he hasn't asked me yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy could ask anything of me and just get it. He is the nicest thing I have seen on planet Earth, aside my parents. He is... He's so honest. So humane. And above all, he is God class. <laughs> That's nice. Sounds to me like oh, perfect. Story. Oh, that is him. Oh. Hi. Ah, uh, hi, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't. Good afternoon. Oh. Good afternoon. Cassie, you never knew you had a company. Um, yes, I do have a company. Um, Lydia, meet Kingsley. Kingsley, that's Lydia. My pleasure. Lydia. Lydia, uh, you mentioned the name somewhere. Yes, I did mention the name. Um, Lydia is, uh, was my roommate before I chopped off. Oh, she took you to the back doctor, right? Uh, sweet, come off it. I mean, she, she did it in good faith. Good faith? He nearly destroyed you, I mean. But he didn't. He did not succeed, did he? I mean, look at me. I'm still alive. Barely. Well, um, Cassie told me all about it, and believe me, I felt really, really bad about it. But just like she said, it was all in good faith. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Um, excuse me.
hates me, doesn't he? <sighs> no, no, well, well, um, not that. Then what is it? It's nothing. 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 Lydia, I said nothing. Um, uh, never mind, let me get you something to, to drink. Smoke it, you know. I only sell it, you know. Survivor. You've been around me in the last three weeks, ain't it? Sixteen days precisely since you got me out of the hospital. And in those sixteen days, have I done or treated you badly? No. Why? Can I ask a favor from you? You don't look it. Look what? Like, like one who peddles drugs. If we all look what we are, the police won't end their kid. What do you think? See. See that word, fate. Fate, that four-letter words. Is what makes us what we are today. Well, whatever fate it was that got you into drug peddling must be a very bad one. That's strictly a matter of opinion. You're an accountant, right? Ever stumbled into the word? I mean, the synonym, the ends justifies the means, ever? Well, only if it's um, a good end and a good means. And what if the good is from the reference point of the definer? Please. You see, I really didn't pick you that day, and I've not been keeping you all this while because I'm a good Samaritan, you know? Why then? A 
moment I saw you slum that day on the streets. Fate hit me. Yeah. That's your woman. Huh? How? Yeah. The feeling. You know? Well, I... All this while, I... I tried very hard not to make passes at you and not get you scared because uh, I didn't want you to be scared of me. But when fate eventually made you to come in touch and catch up with my real trade, I had to play fast one. The way you got over others. Do you realize that? I am the only child of my parents. You already told me that. Do you also know that? My parents are all dead. You told me that too. <gasps> and now I cannot have my own children. <laughs> that means that. My father's lineage will completely come to a standstill. That means that when I eventually leave this world, this cruel world, my father's name would have been totally forgotten. Do you realize that? <laughs> Come on, baby. You've got to hit back. You've got to hit back at the world that has made you so miserable. Hit back? Oh, yes. At first, I thought of sending you to university or school or whatever. Then I said to myself, what the fuss? How can I let the man who has made your life so miserable bits fresh air, I mean, walk around the streets, and, you know, just like that. I said, no, we have to stop him. You, you mean? I mean Dick. Dick, Dick, Roland. For Christ's sake, Dick. Oh, I hate him. But how, how do you intend to do that? All right, I'll tell you how. Who killed your mother? Now tell me, who was responsible for your father's death? Who killed your dad? Who almost killed you? And rendered you barren for life? Who? 
one man. Just one man. I've got to pay him back in his own coins. I've got to take the war back to him. Take your revenge, girl. Take your revenge. How do we achieve that? I'll tell you how. Stick with me, baby. That's how. Stick with me, and he is a dead man. Stick with me. Not a hooker, man. A den, how come? <laughs> <laughs> it was just a stroke of luck. I just ran into her on the street, and you know, she has this pathological hatred for the man that wiped out her parents. And I cashed in on that. Oh, you don't see. <laughs> she believes I'm going to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> now she runs my business without a DEA getting any wiser. That's the deal, you know? Oh, you mean you are using her? What are women for? You oh. use them and you dump them. <laughs> and? And when it became certain that she's game, I decided to get rid of that man for her. Hmm. And I'm set to kick her out. I also kick her out the streets. Oh, Louis is a predictor. Oh, we is predator, man. We is predator. Anyway, you know, here's the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, how is Larry? Well, Larry is cool. Larry is cool. That's not what I'm waiting for you. I'm going to look for Martin Street. Martin Street. Uh, Let's say don't miss road, dude. Which road? Which road? Which road? Which road? Okay. See, you go follow right. Okay. Madam, you don't see that you have one at the upper street here. Uh, uh, then you can turn left. Uh, when you read that junction, uh, you go turn right here. Eh? The street will follow the second one. Uh, uh, now by right, be that. Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, I think so. Uh, okay. I say the block road, dude. What is wrong with this man, man? How dare you park your car in the middle of the road for Christ's sake? But I'm on your walk now. I'm not going to tell you now. What is it? 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 What is where are your luggage? Let's let's get to my car. I know her, okay? Okay. What have been looking for this far? I can't believe this. Are you serious? Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, I have 20 pounds on you. Come on, get your money. Don't worry, don't worry, let's go. Six 
supposed to go, you are sounding like a church bus. And you're not living like a queen. How is that possible? Well, life is the truth. It sure is. I can't believe this. No, just close your mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey, you know, I have not done any blood money, please. <laughs> Boy, so it's, I'm going to sit you down and tell you all that you need to know. So, just relax. Mm -hmm. Don't be too much in a hurry. <laughs> Are you? You don't look it. <laughs> you look like you're going to jump off the roof. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You know, really, I think you should just wait and see the next one I'm going to pull out. Huh? Mm hmm. Okay. Tell me girlfriend. about it. You're a diva on your own, girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the clock has just turned around, baby girl. <laughs> like I said, twist of fate. Talk to me. My dear, in three months, my life turned upside down. I dropped out of school, lost my mom, lost my dad, and most of all, I got an unwanted pregnancy in a most cruel way. Christ. And in less than three months, my life turned around for the better in a way I never expected. <laughs> you can definitely say that again because I can see that. I met Kingsley in a most bizarre circumstance. And since then, my life just kicked up the ladder and it's been moving since then <laughs> you can definitely say that again okay now enough of my boring life history <laughs> you tell me how is the queensland freezing and strict in all areas strict you make all the money all right paying utilities <clears throat> and taxes and all that crap. At least it still works out all the same, doesn't it? Oh yeah. That is what I want to hear. <laughs> anyway, um, how are your parents? Are they still in Nigeria? Oh, we've gone back to Ghana a long, long time ago. Oh, they have? Yeah, I planned mm. visiting them after Nigeria. I see. I wouldn't mind going with you anyway. Anyway, sure. cheers to a successful life. Yes. I just spoke to um, Kinsley about you, about you staying here, and he said you're free to stay here for as long as you want before returning to the UK. That is so generous of him. He's such a nice guy, isn't he? Of course he is. If he wasn't that nice, I will not have agreed to marry him. Marry? Did you just say marry? Oh yeah, I just said marry. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's going to be walking down the aisle soon. Sweetheart, you can bet your life on that. And I hope you're taking me on your honeymoon. Guess what? What? You you're are not going to be my maid of honor. And don't say no, I'm not going to take it. Of okay? course not. I'll definitely be there. You know, we are planning on you know, going to Hawaii for our honeymoon. Hawaii? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're making me jealous now. No, you don't have to. Don't worry. When I'm back, I'm sure coming back with one for you. <laughs> you should. I'm very happy you're staying over though. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I hope you, you still like African dishes. We're used to all those chunks you guys. Jump through, okay. eh?
Um, Nancy. I was wondering if you could help me. Over what? Do you want to come over to London? No, not at all. Then what is it? The man responsible for the death of my parent. I am ready to make him pay. How? I want to establish contact with him and um, monitor him. But why? You have everything with Kinsley. Why don't you forget about the past and leave vengeance to God? <laughs> Nancy, you, you, you won't understand. Understand what? In the process of trying to abort his pregnancy, I got my womb severed. As I speak with you, I will never be able to have a child of my own. What do you want me to do? We'll talk. Jet age computers. As you can see, I am past that age. Well, I'm here to offer you the best in computer technology. I have all the computers that I need. All obsolete. Well, I've seen that of your secretary and even this your laptop. can be all swift and light. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Let me tidy up my table. It seems like 
your brains are no longer working effectively. You. What do you want here? No, the question should be what are you doing here with my friend? Oh. You both know each other. <laughs> That's my friend. And she's a woman. You deserve to die, Mr. Roland. You? Yes. Same old me. Isn't it a funny and small world? Ah. Jesus. Jesus. Unless. Well, unless. Unless. Yes. Anything. Anything. But please. Don't kill me, please. Oh, please don't kill me. He don't want to die. Right? I watched my mother die. I watched my father die. All thanks to you, monster. So how much did you swindle off me, Mr. Roland? <laughs> 20 million? 15 million? Ah! Right! Remember I told you, I always collect. Do you remember? I always collect! No, no, please, I will pay. It, 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 I'm sorry, it, it's the devil that pushed me. Oh, the same devil has pushed me to kill you today. Wait, hold on. Do both of you know each other? That's a small one, honey. Just the hell of this. I'll handle this. By the time I'm done with you, it will be every single day. Yes. If anybody wanted this truth. Yes, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll pay. But please, don't pay me. Thank you. Thank you for seeing me. Now, you have five million in your Zenith account. Who told you that? Shut up! You have 15 million in your diamond account. You have 10 million in your access account. Right! 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 What? What? What is the meaning of this? Cool, shut up! Oh, yes, a cool. Dick Roland, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten the 200,000 Naira dot check you gave to me? Have you? That's a good thing. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry, it was that would have made me do it. Look, I, I'm going to issue a genuine check to you now. Oh, yes! You certainly issued checks today. I, 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 I'll, I'll do that straight away. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Now I begin to write the 35 million Zenith Bank check. Now! 15 million Diamond Bank check and the 10 million Access Bank check. Now! I don't have my Diamond Bank check. I don't have access to my bank check. What do you have? Yeah, the, but that's the Zenith. Zenith? Oh, get the Zenith. Get it out. Take that joke. Get it out. Yes, yes. Write the date properly. Write the date properly. Mm. Mm. Come to sign up, please. Write, write. Yes, sign it. I 
know your right signature. I know your signature. I know, I know you, Mister. See it off. set up here, I mean, instead of going back to work shifts. This is certainly a proposition to think about. Mm. You better start thinking, girl. Start thinking. I mean, there are loads of bugs in the here in this country. Instead of going to a Buddha, you go to suffer. If you ask me, I think there's absolutely nothing there. You can make it right here, girl. Thank you so, so much. With me here, trust me, I just have to pull one or two strings and you'll be just Roland. Huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. I hate you so much. Mm. I wish I could kill you with my gun. Hey, hey, hey! Sent her. Uh, uh, I issued the check. Yes. 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 You uh, know, their company, Classic Holdings, uh, ordering some goods for my company. Yes. Thank you. Now you are. Oh, 
know how oh, yeah. much it feels like killing yeah. you, dick. Why? 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 Dick. Huh? You heartless dick. Huh? I hate you so much. Huh? Do you know how much I feel like I wish I would kill you with my own gun? You kill me. I'm going a note that I'm very much around. You try any funny thing, you know you're dealing with the master of the game, Dick. Rollins, you will die. Am I going to beg for an explanation? What do you want to hear? The thin line between you and Chief Rona. to the drug business. What? He made all his money from drug business. Then he started an importation business to cover up. You said something about him owing you. <sighs> yes. I was a stage of runner. He owed me five million. When he sent me on a trip, he turned my last trip. Last trip. Yeah. I carried three kilograms of cocaine to Thailand via South Africa. My most dangerous mission. So, what happened? He blew the whistle. He called the police. He wanted me arrested. So you can have all the money, greedy man. But why didn't you expose him? I mean, you could have gotten him arrested or something. Things don't work that way in drug business. Once a baron, always a baron. Almost untouchable. Baron boys get sacrificed like pawns on a chessboard. What did you do? Like? I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm 
Sure. It'll be okay. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Come on, Dad. Dad, what really happened? So. Yeah. So. Well, I, 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 I'm robbers attacked me. Oh my God. I just had to fly down when I heard it. Oh, he oh. needs rest. Oh, doctor. Doctor, I just flew in and, you know, I, know. I haven't seen him in two years, you know. I know, I know, I know. But he really, he needs to recover first. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but how is he? Well, he's responding rather poorly. You know, considering the fact that they are mere leg wounds. Everything should be okay. Is okay? Well, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. It's okay, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Flowers. Let's see. Dad, Dad, you got some bunch of flowers from Rose and her friend. Yeah, Rose and her friend. What? 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 Dad, you can't do this to me, man. You can't... Dad? Doctor, doctor, what's going on? What's, what's going on? You be all right? Huh? Come on, talk to me, man. Doctor? What's going on? Come on, what's going on? Sorry about what? Tell me this, man. It's okay. It's okay. How could relax. You? It's okay. Relax. Sorry. Sorry. You know he's into drugs. Mm -hmm. So, sure. then why stick around? What would you have me do? Hit the road, girlfriend. Francie, that's not possible. You see, he promised me vengeance over that monster. That is enough incentive for me. And now it's over. He has proposed to me. And I've said yes. Does he know that your room is destroyed and yeah. Yeah, he does. <laughs> then he's not genuine. You have to watch him. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. I mean, he know nothing about Kingsley, okay? He's a very nice guy. He's quite kind. I think he's a good guy. Did you see the way he shot Mr. Roland? Jesus. So cold and icy. No kind man is capable of such a thing. Kingsley was just driven by hate for the man who mutilated his wife to be. That's all. Come on, Casey. You have to be smarter than this. This guy's just using you. Nancy. Wait. Don't tell me you were jealous. Excuse me. Jealous. How? You know what? Enough of this discussion. I think I, I need to go get some sleep, all right? I suggest you do the same instead of whining.
I don't trust that guy more than I can throw him. I can attempt a double cross. If not, be your smart. So use your initiative. I need this. I don't need it. And what do you need? Just to be around. You, Mr. Lopez? Are you from Kingsley? Why don't we start doing business instead of being cocky? <laughs> that is tough. You got the cash? sending a baby to do a man's job. And who is this? One of my boys. I have this place surrounded by my men. And every single discussion we have in here, they are listening to it. You would have been dead for trying to pull this little stupid stunt. But Mr. Kingsley is a patient man. And he is giving you a second chance. Now, where is my money? Now.
open it. KJ Hong Kong business around here. Got it? What do you think? Yes! Yes! Let's move it now. Come on! That's all right. Do you really believe that? Kinsley would dump me. A drug guy is capable of anything. But he loves me. I'm not disputing that fact. What you should ask yourself is why hasn't he sent you back to university to finish your studies? I mean, which reasonable drug ban will drag his wife into the business? Don't belong. 